<laughs> you know, I wasn't sure you were going to say yes. I told you I would if you would just ask me again. Mm, what about all the excuses you gave me at first? I mean, the planets not being aligned? No, you know what? The heck with the planets. I don't care about anything or anyone except you. Oh, I can't wait to marry you. <laughs> Tabitha, isn't this great? Kay has agreed to marry me. I'm sorry, you're gonna be losing one of your borders, but I uh, became the love of my life. Stop shooting me, that evil look of yours. Fox and I love each other enough to survive anything. You're dead wrong, Kay. Dead being the operative word, I'm afraid. I think this calls for a toast. But isn't that all set up for Martin Bellar's reception? I don't think they'll mind if we steal just a little bit of champagne, do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Here, I'll go get some glasses. All right. I'd like to propose a toast to my beautiful bride-to-be. To your beautiful mother, and to my gorgeous Kay. To the woman I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. I love you. Oh. Salud. Oh my gosh. Oh, what the hell? I've never seen that happen before. God. Listen, don't move, okay? I'll go get the house cleaning staff. We'll get this done in just a second. Stay there. Look, sweetheart, crocuses. The first sign of spring. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's the father. Oh, Father Lonigan. We're over here. Well, if it isn't Father Stevie Wonder out for a stroll. Oh, I mustn't let Endora get too close to him. He'll sense she's a witch. It's Kay and Fox, Father. <laughs> and Maria's here with their oh, friend. Oh, I felt her presence. The child's energy is so special. What about a baby witch's energy, eh, Father? I'm glad that we ran into you before the ceremony, Father. Uh, Kay and I have some good news that we'd like to share with you. We're engaged. <laughs> Fox asked me to marry him, and I said yes. Oh, I wish you could see my ring. So do I. Congratulations to the both of you. We haven't set a date yet, Father, but we're hoping that you'll be able to marry us. And we'll tell you as soon as we figure it out ourselves. Yes, do that. Oh, kids are throwing snowballs at each other. Oh, no. Maria has her new coat on. Don't worry. I'll go get him, OK? OK. Father? Isn't it great, Father? <laughs> Have you put all your old feelings for Miguel behind you? Can you truly tell me that you are no longer in love with him? Yes. I, I hardly ever think about him anymore. You know, Kay, when I lost my sight, my other senses became sharper, more acute. I can hear in your voice something that you're not putting into words. I worry that you may not be as over Miguel as you say. Well, it looks like I might have a little more ways to go when it comes to raising little girls. Why? What happened? Uh, Maria's jacket is covered in mud. Oh. But it's okay. God. Little Ethan's nanny's uh, got her upstairs cleaner up, so. Okay, I'm gonna go help her. Lily, Father, I've, I've never been so happy, okay? God bless, Kay. <laughs>